So for today's manifestation moment, let's talk about intuition. Since I saw it so vividly on the show today, education from within, right, is the precursor to knowledge. That's where we want it to be. You feel it, you intuit it, you know it, you enter into it, then you discover, then you learn, then you gain wisdom, the mental pictures, the learning will come when you follow that education from within and that connection to the all, your source connection to the great spirit and to everything in life. We want to be following our intuition more, of course, but I also want to lend, look at it at the lens of manifestation. Okay, not just in what's the right decision, what's the right choice, what do I feel, what am I going to go learn, but also in regards to how we can manifest. It's the same aspect of the brain. It's the part of the brain, what we call the mastermind, and we talk about this in the Rise Code as well, in mastermind versus servant mind. The mastermind, your mastermind, is the conceiver and the intuitor. They're not really separate. So when you conceive of a vision, of a goal, of a dream, you're already putting it in motion. That is your divine power. That is your unique creative God goddesshood is that you can conceive of life and create it. But also think of that as no different than intuiting that it's going to happen. Like get to that level where you can spend a little time and what I'm creating already exists. It's already occurring. All of life is coming together right now to help me create it. I am ready. All these things within a within a, a, a feeling or it's almost like a sensation of my, my frontal lobe may not believe it yet. My thinking and logic and rationality and my wounds may not quite believe it yet. I'll work on them later. I'll get there. But in this moment, as the wind is picking up like crazy all of a sudden, in this moment, I can intuit that it's happening. It's it's there. Oh my God, it's definitely going to happen. It's already on its way. I can feel it. And I'm going to remind myself as I go throughout the journey that the destination that I've set course for, that intention, it is. It is incurring. And I can cause myself to feel it and feel it and feel it, even if I can't quite believe it so much yet. But I can intuit it. Because the aspect of manifestation at its power is when you just accept and can acknowledge that it's already occurring. You just allow it. It's you and the entirety of the creation coming together to bring you there. So sometimes, you know, we can back off from the effort within the quote unquote mind, although I still recommend it. But another way to look at it is I'm coming from the observer, from the true self, from my true spirit self, from my higher self, from my magical self, before the avatar body that moves into this avatar body. And I'm just clicking enough to realize, oh yeah, that's on its way. It is on its way. I am becoming it more and more. And even despite my challenges, I can feel I'm on the way. There is so much power in that. So just wanted to state that first in regards to intuition, that it's not really separate than the vertical aspect of your prime power within manifestation. That same level of consciousness that then traverses through the rest of the avatar body, the being, the brain into the field. You'll work on the thinking. You'll work on the, the belief. You'll work on the steps. They'll all come. But the spark is conceiving and intuiting where you're heading, what you're causing to happen. As Greg said on our School of Own last week, the eye of the cause, you are. You are the eye of the cause. Not just the eye of the storm, outside in. You're the cause of everything for you. So intuit your reality as you're manifesting it, just as much as intuition itself, which is my last part to today's segment, is kind of a few different parts. Intuition in regards to the first lens that I mentioned, education from within that's leading to the choices, to the knowledge, to the wisdom, to the experiences that are right for you, that you just sense. Your cosmic human design system helps you greatly with this. It's one of the greatest benefits and most important parts to it. It's the simplest part and it's the most powerful part. So it's one thing to say to one person, 
oh, can't you feel it in your gut? Or don't you sense it? Or don't you feel it? But it's another person, it's another story for that other person because they may have a different faculty, which is their intuitive power. So inner authority in cosmic human design is your intuition on steroids. It is your answer. It is your de- direct connection to all and to what is right for you. Some of us have a physical sensation in the gut that responds to sound that we can encourage and ask and inquire about along with natural triggering of it. Some of us have a defined spleen which is this instinctual awareness where you just know it's given the answer is given the image is given the sense is given the whisper is given sometimes before it even happens but it only comes once and if you deny it and do not accept it and act on it you've missed out some of us have an emotional process which isn't about emotion really it's about timing where we're designed to feel things through not hurry and allow the cosmos to coagulate and allow everything else that's involved to prepare itself for a better time, a better answer. More data is to come in. Some of us are designed to feel things through and ride our emotional wave up and down. Some of us are designed to express our direction and then arrive at what to do. We need a person outside of us to do so, someone that we can trust neutrally or motivationally to just be able to express ourselves. Some of us are designed to go after our heart's desires, period, done the answer. And I mean, in far as action. And if you don't do that, you won't go anywhere. And some of us are designed to follow that lunar cycle, that 29 day cycle. And there's a few more, but I just wanted to give some of the examples of what intuition is in the cosmic human design system. And by the way, some of you may have two, three, or four of those, but it's all relative to your own unique combination of codes and your own unique way in which it may show up in each moment. And so they're so important and it's so vital and it can help even the most wise people in regards to intuition to understand and realize self through the chart that is you energetically in your cosmic human design system. It is your manual. So remember intuition in regards to making choices, let's do it more, let's have faith and courage Let's not worry about everything else that would block it. Money, worried about what other people think, all these things. Let's listen to intuition. Let's look at our human design, cosmic human design system, our charts, our unique self. And third, in manifestation, intuition is not all that much different than conceiving and dreaming and believing and seeing and then knowing. I just can feel it. I just know it's occurring. Just convince that heart to mind. Don't try to come from the mind and force it. And that is your manifestation moment to help you fast track your dream life today.